Welcome to Desk Geek. One of the misconceptions that I constantly hear is that Linux isn't for gaming. People look at Linux and they think to themselves, well, if I'm going to revitalize a really old computer, I don't want to spend the money on an operating system, then I'll grab Linux. But is it something I'm going to install on my main PC? Well, hopefully this 30 days of Linux challenge that I've shown you from video editing, you know, web browsing, document creation, uh, art, animations, everything that you can do, game development, etc. within Linux has put a lot of those fears to rest. There's really nothing that I have not been able to overcome uh, using a free open source Linux distribution solution. And in many cases, they're ones that you may already be using in Windows like GIMP. So we've overcome all of that, but gaming becomes that big misconception out there that Linux isn't good for gaming or that you can't game on Linux. And the fact is you can game really, really well on Linux. Linux is fantastic for gaming, in fact. And Steam has gone a long way in helping to kind of bridge the gap between game developers uh, getting into the Linux platform. I mean, Steam OS by itself is a Linux-based operating system that they developed and that they're pushing pretty heavily. And where Steam goes, the developers generally go. But at the end of the day, this is a money-making situation. If the developers, there's enough users in a Linux platform, the developers will make their game for it. And the games will run beautifully. I have an NVIDIA uh, GTX 1070 brand new card. Works perfect out of the box with Linux with the NVIDIA drivers in it. Razer mouse, Corsair key, gaming keyboard, DDR4 RAM, all of that stuff works right out of the box perfectly. So here is an example in Steam of just, if you do a search by Linux, just some of the games. A lot of these are AAA games that have been ported to Linux. You know, XCOM is a fantastic game out there. Mad Max, Warhammers, Shadow of Mordor. There's 27 pages of games here that you can go through that will play on Linux. And what I want to do is show you just how gorgeous these games look in Linux. So not only am I doing an OBS recording here, but we'll go ahead and just open up one of these. So we can start with Bioshock here. So Bioshock, certainly a AAA title, was ported to Linux. I've done no patching, nothing. Just running right out of the box. Just installed it from Steam like any other game like you would in Windows. And... Let's get in here and see if we have any issues. I've lowered the sound down on purpose because I didn't want it to supersede my voice here. So we'll look at graphics and we've got windowed ultra mode. Graphics quality is preset. You can do custom ultra, 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 ultra. Everything on ultra here. Good. Okay, excellent. So let's save those changes and let's play the game. And I hope this goes a long way into helping people break that misconception. I'll certainly games some of the AAA games. If you want to play the day it comes out, you'd have to go through, you know, a Windows 10 if you're dual booting. You could use a virtual machine, of course, to game that if you had to have that game. But this may teach you some patience, and eventually those AAA games will come to Linux first, the more users that jump on board, especially with the advancements that have been made in Linux. Let me use this here. So you can see I have no lag, no problems. Everything here is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so F to activate display. And let's get out here into some action. Let's take some of that salt there. And let's go through this cutscene and turn my hands to lava. Getting some superpowers. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous right no stuttering no stopping no problems no driver issues no going to the terminal to figure out how to make it work it's just working all right so we're full on that let's go out here and let's test our new ability here Alright, take a 
getting these guys down quick. Uh oh, somebody's got me here. My mouse actually keeps escaping to the other side of the screen, which is not a Linux issue, by the way, but it's a, uh, cause I put this in windowed mode. So let me change this here real quick. Options, graphics, and let's just go to full screen. So my mouse stops escaping over to the secondary. There we go. All right. So going the wrong way now. And where's my next guy? There you are. Got him taken out. Let's take this machine gun. This guy's just bouncing around everywhere. So I'm out of salt. There's some salt. Boom, bad guy gone. Search and take all. All right, so this is Bioshock. If you can see any difference between this and a gaming machine, well, you're just telling stories all on ultra settings, no issues whatsoever, runs beautifully. Let's look at another game here. Exit to desktop. Okay, so let's pull up Witcher now. Another AAA title. Very high graphics on this game. Launch game. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Xbox One controller. No drivers to download again. We're just going to plug it in and see if it works all right so xbox controller on let's do let's get rid of this steam code thing all right let's go into our settings so we already got it set to gamepad Perfect. And I'm going to hold this up just so you can see I'm using the controller here. Some people talk about peripherals not working within Linux, etc. or having to do something special to get them to work. And a lot of it is making sure, just like with PC, you're buying the right hardware that's compatible that you know offers Linux support so here we are inside Witcher absolutely gorgeous using our controller let's see here I don't remember all the controls with Witcher but you can see just how smooth and clean the graphics are here it's just like you're gaming on a Windows operating system it's utilizing all of the hardware capabilities of NVIDIA's video card, utilizing the controllers and peripherals, no issues whatsoever. So this is not a matter of, and the whole point of this video, Linux not being capable of gaming. This is a matter of developers developing for Linux to game. And for developers to do that, they're in the business of making money so there has to be enough consumers there for them to start building their games for that platform and it's the same thing with console wars if the console isn't popular enough nobody writes games for it so as more and more people game and because steam is pushing heavily in their steam os linux uh, arena then these developers will start building and you'll get those triple a releases maybe even eventually before Windows or at least at the same time that Windows does. That's the future of Linux, but it requires more people to participate and get involved and see how beautifully things run within Linux. And uh, two games I just downloaded that were in my Steam um, account that I downloaded and played. Not a single driver did I have to install, single setting have to change, all on Ultra 
runs beautifully. So I hope this video helps you to see the power of Linux in the gaming arena too, an area where a lot of people um, think that Linux may be lacking. And in fact, it's not lacking at all. It's got all the power you need. So until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too far. Don't get the video.